Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of uterine dental piece with primary amenorrhea. You can see the both the uterus and the uni bladder. This is the uterus lying on the right side of the pelvic cavity and it, the ovary is also visible and shows a cyst. Now the primary amenorrhea, the girls usually start periods between 10 and 16 years of age. Most girls get their first periods when they are around 12 but everyone develops at different rates so there is no right or wrong age to start having periods. Now you can see the uterus lying on the left side as well as both the uterus lying on the right side and both the ovaries are also visible lying, lying just adjacent to the uterus on their respective side right and left ovaries and both the ovaries show a cyst in their interior. So this is the cause of amenorrhea. The patient is aged about 17 years and she is suffering from primary amenorrhea. The most girls begin their periods in between the 9 and 18 years of age. The average is around 12 years old. If no periods have occurred when a girl, girl is older than 15, further testing may be needed. The need is more urgent if she has gone through other normal changes that occur during puberty. Most girls get their first periods when they are around 12, but getting it any time between 10 and 15 is okay. Every girl's body has its own schedule. Now there are two types of amenorrhea, the primary amenorrhea and the secondary amenorrhea. Primary amenorrhea is when the first mean menstrual bleeding at puberty doesn't occur at by the age of 15 years. This problem may be lifelong. Then there is secondary amenorrhea. This type is when normal menstrual bleeding stops occurring for three months or more. It may be because of physical causes and usually happens later in life. Now you can see both the uterus and these both uterus have their own cervix. The cervix is not shared by these uteruses. So the every uterus has its own fallopian tube, own ovaries, own ovary and on cervix. Now the types of amenorrhea as you have listened now the causes of amenorrhea are ovulation problems. It may result in irregular or missed menstrual periods. Then there are thyroid disorders, thyroid gland that is underactive or overactive can cause missed periods. Then there is obesity. Girls who are overweight may have missed periods due to changes in ovulation due to body fat. Then there is excessive exercise. It will result in low amount of body fat and some girls athletes do not have menstrual periods. Now there are eating disorders. Anorexia may cause two low body weight, hence result in amenorrhea. Then there are pituitary adenoma. This tumor grows in the brain. It may cause changes with the normal function of, of hormones. It may prevent ovulation causing missed periods. Then there are physical problems that are genetical birth defects. If a girl has not started to menstruate by the age of 50, it may be from a problem with the formation of reproductive system before birth. Then pregnancy, of course, menstrual periods stop during pregnancy. So 
this patient has cyst in each ovary so th there are hormonal imbalance so this uterus dental piece is disorder present before birth in which a female develops two uteruses instead of one again you can see the both the uteruses and the respective ovarian cysts seen in the ovaries uterine dedalpes results due to failure of mullerian duct fusion that occurs between 12th and 16 weeks of pregnancy so one in about every 2000 women worldwide have this condition how how likely is is it that a woman with this condition would get pregnant with twins one baby growing in each uterus about one in 25 thousand women with uterus dedalpes get pregnant with twins one to each uterus very weird occurring uterine dedalpes sometimes also called uterus dedalpes represents a uterine malformation where uterus is present as a paired organ when the embryogenesis few uh, fusion of the mullerian ducts fail to occur as a result there is double uterus with two separate surfaces and possibly a double vagina as well it is entirely possible for women with a double uterus to carry a baby to term however condition does it does come with an increased risk of miscarriage or premature labor you may also here a double uterus referred to as uterus dedalpes in women who have two fully developed uteri pregnancy might be completely normal and you might have even seen new articles about rare case of women with dedalpes uterus getting pregnant in both uteri with different due dates Uterine dedalpes is a disorder present before birth in which female develops two uteruses instead of one. So you can find some detailed information in the description of this video about this uterine dedalpes and the primary amenorrhea or the amenorrhea. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.